Hi, this is Dave Webb from Venture Caravans and I'm going to show you around this Redline Sport model. This particular one's a T6, it's done 14,136 miles. Um, it's a start line and, and features reversing sensors and air conditioning. And as you can see, it's got the Wolf Race 18 inch silver and black alloys. Gloss pack to the grills, just to add a nice glossy um, edge to the grills and to the mirror caps and to the handles. Bit of a contrast from the bright summer blue. Um, as with all Redline Sport models, it has two opening windows, one either side that slide. It features the noise reducing spoiler at the front and then you have the roof that closes down just behind it um, so that it sits well in tucked behind the spoiler itself. At the back here this particular model has got a tailgate you can see the reversing sensor down there. I'll open this up so you can get a look inside. You can have the table to sit on the rails itself inside the camper van, or you can sit it at the back here on this plinth and it can easily be taken out. The whole plinth itself is removable. So you can just literally take that out. So if you want to uh, put long things through from front to back, you can do. Got a large locker. Again, this one's a long locker in there. And then this locker at the top there um, goes through to where the electrics are. Just located there, I'll show you that from the inside. We've also got the top here, a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide alarm. Show you around the outside on this side. It's got a 60 litre underslung water tank. The mains inlet just there and the water inlet there. The roof itself, is uh, the canvas rather, is made by Cabanon. And you can see the logo and detailing there with the red line. Um, it's also got high lift stainless steel hinges at the back here. And it's a double, double skin polycarbonate roof, which allows for roof rails to be added to. As we go on to the inside, you've got a Kiravan's front double swivel seat base and got the double VW seat there which gives you uh, plenty of storage underneath there the jacks in there at the moment it's been upholstered in the brick upholstery which is the t6.1 um, model upholstery it's got a wood effect worktop with silver edging banded edging to the cupboards cupboard space there we've got the grill and then underneath that, two cupboards. One's just a normal, regular cupboard, and the other one is the one that you keep your gas in. It's designed to take camping gas bottles, which are readily available from a lot of sites, and especially readily available throughout Europe, where the gas bottles aren't. Uh, it's got a 12 volt fridge with its own freezer compartment. The table brackets are one there and one above the grill and it can be put in either position. It's got a diesel heater and the outlet for that is just down there on the floor. You'll notice the cutout behind the seat, so this angled piece here, and that's to allow this seat to recline a bit further. So it's very good for taller individuals. You've got your sink there, two gas burners, Cupboards under the rib bed. So as I said, they can go sliding through from front to back if you want them to. I had one customer that wanted to put skis in um, and that's why we had them put on Velcro at the back for that plinth so it can be removed at any time. The rib bed is an injection molded foam seat and bed. So it's very durable and robust. You've got Isofix fittings for kids seats. You can see the sort of quality 
and safety aspects to it all around. Head restraints that move up and down, or head rests, depending on what you want to call them. And the bed folds out using these handles here. And it does allow for quite a bit of space to be underneath the seat when it is folded out into the bed position. This particular rib bed is also fitted with a mover on the front there, so you can slide it forwards and backwards by about 20 centimeters. This does have an added benefit that when you come round to the back here, obviously you've got access to underneath there, but if you drop this down, sorry, it's gonna be a two-handed job, so excuse the camera angle for a second. If you drop the back part of the seat down there, you can see now you've got storage underneath and when the door's closed, that'll be secure because you can't see what's in there. And then you've got all this space above. So a nice big amount of space there. You've got this timber silver door and behind it is the electrics panel. I'm just gonna turn some lighting on. You have a lighting and your water pump switch there. As you probably saw, there's a light that comes on above. Um, they're all touch sensitive, so if you touch the edge of them, or touch operated rather, so if you touch the metal edge, it turns it on and off. And the one in there is the same. And as you can see, you've got plenty of these LED lights around. Dotted all the way around the camper. Going back inside, you have your control panel here. Well, I say control panel, a few a sort of uh, two main sockets there, two USB sockets there, light switches, one for the floor lights. So you'll see down there. So a couple of little LED lights down there underneath the lockers, and one for the kitchen light, which is an LED strip light, all the way across the top of the cupboards. You've also got your Wabasto diesel heater control, just located above the switches there. Nice and simple to use. You don't have to have the engine running for that to work. You can just ignite the fuel itself and create the heat accordingly. As you get up into the top area, you can see you've got a nice mesh panel here. Get close up so you can see the mesh. Um, stroke window so that can be zipped up and sealed obviously for night time and to keep the weather elements out but again it gives a great feeling of light and space when this is opened up and the front one is actually a window just the mesh on this other side too <laughs> You have two up lights and they're operated by this little switch here. Blue light comes on to let you know that they're on. Uh, just when the bed's pulled down from above, which you just do by grabbing it and pulling. When it's pulled down, you might not necessarily see the lights uh, on when you're sitting at the back there. So at least you can see the LED blue light. As you can see, you've got a memory foam mattress on top of this bed. It's just a thin one, but it does the job perfectly. And then you've got two handles pulling the roof down as well. They're connected to the handles themselves. 